Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? You want to simplify cube root of root 5 plus 2 minus cube root of root 5 minus 2. Here, let's represent this as x and uh, which is equal to a minus b. Where a is standing as cube root of root 5 plus 2 and b is standing as cube root of root 5 minus 2. And from here, let's keep both sides, that is, x raised to power 3 equals to a minus b raised to power 3. And when we expand the right-hand side, this gives us a cube minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared then minus b cube. So this is the expansion of the right hand side and then which is equals to x cube. Then from here, let's take a cube and b cube together and this equals to a cube minus b cube. Then from here, we can factor 3ab minus 3ab out. Then what we have left here is a. Then what is here now will now be minus b. Then from here, we can substitute the value of a in here now. We have a to be cube root of root 5 plus 2. Then all raised to power 3. Here, cube, we cancel cube root. Similarly, for b, let's bring b also there to minus into bracket cube root of root 5 minus 2 all raised to power 3. Also, cube, we cancel cube root here. And we have minus 3ab. And uh, ab here means a times b. This is a, this is b. Let's multiply. When we multiply, that's cube root of we can bring everything into one cube root now. So cube root of root 5 plus 2 multiplied by root 5 minus 2. Here, yeah, inside the cube root, these two numbers multiply. And we have conjugate. Conjugate so. So we can apply the difference of two square from here. And uh, this one is cube root of root 5 square then minus 2 square so from there we have a b here we are finding a b that is we multiply the two terms so a b from here will now be equals to cube root of root 5 square that's 5 square cancel square root then we have minus 2 square that's 4 and this implies cube root of 1 and cube root of 1 is 1 so we can say that a b here is equal to 1 then we substitute we have minus 3 a b so we have minus 3 times 1 and that's minus 3 then into bracket a minus b and a minus b here is equal to x so we cannot say minus 3 times x because a minus b is x then we have a, B is 1, so we now have minus 3x from there. This is x raised to power 3 now. Then from here, we have cube has cancelled the cube root. Cube has cancelled the cube root. And what we have left from there is x raised to power 3 equals to square root of 5 plus 2, then minus square root of 5. This minus open this bracket. That will be plus 2 now. Then minus 3x. Then from here we have square root of 5 and minus square root of 5 cancel out. So this becomes x raised to power 3 equals to 2 plus 2 here. That's 4. Then minus 3x. Then we can take everything to one side and this will be x raised to power 3 then plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0. And here we can rewrite this as 
x raised to the power 3 minus x then plus 4x minus 4 equals to 0. So as minus x plus 4x will give us 3x. Then from here, we can factorize what is common here. We have x out. When we do this one to two, and we have s squared left here, then minus one. Also, what is common here plus four into bracket x minus one, which is equals to zero. And also from here we have x square minus one can be written as x square minus one square. So when we apply the difference of two square, we have x into bracket x plus one times x minus one, then plus four into bracket x minus 1 equals to 0 and the uh, x minus 1 is common from here we take it out we have x minus 1 then we have what is left here is x into bracket x plus 1 then we have plus 4 here which is equal to 0 and when we simplify further here we have x minus 1 then into bracket we expand here, we have x squared plus x, then plus 4 equals to 0. Now we have two possible cases here. The first case we have x minus 1 equals to 0. And the second one we have x squared plus x plus 4 equals to 0. From here, we take minus 1 here, become plus. So x equals to 1 from here. And uh, here, we have a quadratic equation. We can check using the discriminant. If we are going to have a resolution here, we have discriminant is b square minus 4ac. Now, b in this case is 1. And we have 1 square minus 4 times a. a here is 1. Then c is 4. Then times 4. And we have 1 square. 1 square is t1. Then minus 16. Then we have this is minus 15 which is less than 0 so we have discriminant less than 0 therefore no resolution will be here so we have no resolution here we have no resolution from here and therefore the value of x is 1 and don't forget that we represented our expression that is key root of Square root of 5 plus 2, then minus cube root of square root of 5 minus 2 as x. So if this is x, that means this will be equal to 1, since x equals to 1. Therefore, the simplified form of what we are given is equal to 1. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel so as not to miss out. See you in the next class and bye for now.